Hey guys, welcome back. We're on Project 210. Today we are going to work on some wiring. We, uh, old uh, GPS holder here that we were using. Now going on the trash. We are now using this new one piece unit that I came up with. Just going to put that on, basically, um, you take your uh, um, Y harness here and put it in the back. So I always power up this receiver, or excuse me, ESC first. So that means the one on closest to me, we have to remove the power wire from. So quickest way to do that is to cut that sucker right on out. So I just go ahead and remove it from the whole thing. On that one side, make sure it ends up back the same way. Okay, gonna slide that in there like so. Both of those should push right in there, unless we got a little bit of print hanging up. Which we do, but I think I can get it in there. Should be a tight fit so I don't slide around. There we go. Just press them in like that. And there we go. Those are done. Okay, next up, I'm gonna figure out where I want this roughly on here. Push it on. That part's done. Then we're going to take our servo wire here from our perfect pass. I'm going to route that under the perfect pass servo. Thank you, Raya Schiffrin. Okay, we're going to route it in our box. Make sure that we're not going to have any binding or anything. Um, I run a Futaba 7PX on all my cars. So I run the 2006 GS 6 channel. It's got dual antennas on it. The way I set these up is I will double side tape so basically what I do is I just set it on there you know part of my old man eyes guys can't see as well as I used to thanks to the diabetes and just getting old Here's the worst part of my life, <laughs> trying to get this red piece off. And wow, look at how easy. You guys are good luck on the, my, our viewers. All right. Receiver is mounted. Obviously, uh, usually we run a perfect pass that goes in here. So we'll plug that into here. This in here, so just kind of route that around for now. All right, with all your wires, you got your brand new ESCs from Castle, so they got double dual wires on them. What I like to do is take these things apart right off the bat. So I unhook the fans. Take your wires, get rid of the ones you do not need. So, this wire here we do not need on this thing. So we are going to find 
something up here. Alright guys, had to go find a tool. Sometimes we go race drag racing on the weekends, got to pack all the tools up. And then unpack them. So basically just pull up each one of these tabs. That's the way I do it. Pop those suckers out. Make sure you push them tabs back down. Hmm. All right. There we go. There we go. First one down. Get that back on there. Plug your fan wire back in. And that one's done. Next thing I'm gonna do is usually what I like to do is run this where it's nice and neat. So I'll double, you put a little double-sided tape here and then a little electrical tape. Kind of like this running along here and then we will shorten these way up and I have the tool to do it with but I hate doing it and I screw it up so I let Austin do it when he gets home from work from Hobby Town all right I'm gonna shorten up this one shortened up shouldn't say shortened up should say remove remove the wires we're not using Got that removed. That one's giving me a little trouble. And get that clicked back into place there. Reconnect our fan. All right. Next part I like to do is usually work on this stuff, but like I said. Uh, kind of wait for Austin to get home to shorten those up for me. I usually try to use some double sided, uh, nope, here we go. Use some electrical tape to hold those wires temporarily. If I don't have that, I will use um, shrink wrap on that. Electrical tape seems to work better, if you ask me, because it's easily removable. If you put shrink wrap on there, then you gotta cut it out and then keep replacing it. Okay. So that's basically how it's going to look. You guys get the point. I straighten out the wires all the way down like that. And we'll continue with that. Put one more piece on there until we get the wires shortened up. Alright, that part is done. Bad thing is, is you can't really shorten these. I mean, you can buy different wires and stuff, but you end up 
basically <clears throat> the same setup wires running all over the place uh, we will take these wires off here and turn them around make them make sure they're all the same length always and then plug them back in that'll be our next step we'll be doing that off camera so <clears throat> got a little bit of work done on here today um, we're gonna finish the perfect pass obviously and tighten up the servo mount but we didn't uh, center that yet or anything so we gotta get everything connected center it up other than that uh, we're gonna start working on painting the body uh, probably this weekend um, get our switches mounted get these uh, I'll probably run these uh, sensor wires through here too and then down I like to keep them nice and tight away from everything also so I guess we could probably do that real quick take our switch wire and run it all along there that's it for today guys thanks for watching all right one little quick update we mounted both of our switches real quick and we got our sensor wires ran up so we'll get those plugged in a little later and continue working on it when uh, we got a little bit more time thanks for watching